Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about the distributive property. And this property is part of the topic, multiplying polynomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So for distributive property, I have here three different examples to show you how to perform the distributive property. So we have item number one, item number two, and item number three. Now, here's the direction. Multiply the following polynomials. In number one, we have five times x plus one. Here, the outside expression is five, which is a monomial, and the expression inside is a binomial. So how are we going to perform the distributive property? Basically, what we need to do is we will dis from the word distributive, or from the word distrib distribute, that is the root word of the word distributive, we will distribute one by one the expression outside the parentheses and multiply it from the terms of the inside expression. First, 5 times x. So we multiply 5 and x, and that is 5x. Now for the second expression, 5, 5 times 2, as you can see, the product is simply positive 10, okay? That is plus 10. So let's review. 5 times x, that is 5x, and 5 times 2, that is 10. So the answer for item number 1 is simply 5x plus 10. So let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are using here abc as our variable. Now, how are we going to multiply this kind of expression? So as you can see, the expression outside is 3abc. Now, we will multiply this from the terms inside, which is 4a squared plus 3a minus 5. Ang gagawin lang dito, multiply this first. So as you can see, that is 3abc times 4a squared. First, I will multiply the, the coefficients 3 times 4, which is equal to 12. And then since meron silang common a, a times a squared is a cubed. Since wala namang bc to, we will copy b and c. Next, we will multiply 3abc to 3a. Okay? So what will happen here, guys, is that it will become this one. 3 times 3, that is positive 9. Then a times a is simply a square. Since we have bc, we'll have here b and c. Next, the third one. 3abc times negative 5. Okay? 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Since negative 5 doesn't have a variable, ang mangyayari, we will copy A, B, and C. So, here it is, guys. The answer or the product between these two polynomials is simply 12A cubed BC plus 9A squared BC minus 15ABC. This is the final answer. So, let's continue with the next item. Here, one of the polynomials is a binomial. I think distribute natin. Sir, is it possible to use that? Yes. Try natin eh. We will try to distribute first the variable m. I will use the blue ink. Ito one by one. Let's try to distribute it, guys. So let's try. Now, m times m square is simply m cubed. Next, m times 3m, that is plus 3m square. Then, m times 7, that is plus 7. 7m. So, I will use another color. If I am going to, distrib to distribute negative 5, 3 times. 
So what will happen is that we will multiply this negative 5 times m squared that is equal to negative 5 m squared negative 5 times 3m that is negative 15m and lastly negative 5 times 7 that is negative 35 so though from examples number 1 and number 2 after distributing the terms outside or the expression outside is wala nating kinumbine dito magkakaroon tayo ng combine like combining like terms kung may notice nyo meron tayong like terms which is ito Saka ito, another like terms natin is this, guys. We have 7m and negative 15m. So what we need to do is to combine them. First, copy natin ng m cube. You have your m cube. Since wala naman siya kaparehas, ito na. 3m square minus 5m square. That is negative 2m square. Next, another com like terms, 7m minus 15m, that is negative 8m. And lastly, your constant, which is negative 35. So, ito ni mismo product natin, guys. We have m cubed minus 2m squared minus 8m minus 35. And that's it, guys. So, for your assignment, ito. Let's try having 5x times x minus 10. So, I hope na makita ko ang inyong answer in this, in the comment section. So, guys, sana natuto kayo sa video natin on how to use the distributive property. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.